And right now, a judge is deciding whether Frazier Glenn Cross will get more time for his defense in the Jewish campus shootings trial. 41 Action News reporter Dia Wall joins us live outside the courthouse in Johnson County with the latest. Dia. Yeah, Patrick, and one of the most powerful things that came out of this morning was Johnson County District Attorney Steve Howe basically saying there was a phone call that Cross made last night that he may be actively trying to sabotage or undercut the authority of the proceedings. So that could really shake things up quite a bit. They went into a recess in the last hour, so we're still waiting to get an update from that and what they discuss as for what all can be revealed. Now, when it comes to delaying the trial or getting that postponement, Cross asked for it to be held off until Monday, so that way, health-wise, he could recuperate and have more time to prepare his defense. But the judge says they've had multiple pretrial hearings that have been closed where Fraser Glenn Cross had the opportunity to do just that. He also said they have one more hearing still to come. Not only that, the prosecution and judge want to know what his defense will look like. It's day four in the case of the man who has admitted to killing William Corporon and his teenage grandson, Reet Underwood, at the Jewish Community Center last year, and also doing the same to Terry Lomano at the Village Shalom in April 2014. We talked to Jim Lomano, Terry. Terry's husband, who tells us he is not actively paying attention or even watching these proceedings as they unfold. It's just too painful. He says that he's ready for the criminal justice system to take its course and that friends and family, thankfully, don't bring it up either. I asked them not to. I mean, I, I in my heart, I, I, I know, I know what happened. Uh, I can, I see it every day. I, I, I know what happened. Uh, I, I know. Uh, and that was, uh, was just an unfortunate situation. Now, hopefully, as the day continues to progress, we can learn two things. One, if the judge will grant Fraser Glenn Cross's request to postpone the trial until Monday, and what exactly was said in that phone call that he made last night. Live in Olathe, Dia Wall, 41 Action News.